So this is the cultivator pretty much pieced together. We're gonna start at the front and the front of the tractor, basically, you know, you've got the tool mounted in between, you know, a pair of axles. So if we were setting this up, where I would start is on a concrete pad where, or on some pretty level dirt. And what we do is we lower the cultivator down And we'll notice that the sweeps actually hit the ground before the gauge wheels do, and that's what we want to have happen. So the way it's set right now is there's about maybe an inch and a half space between the bottom of the wheel and the ground. So what that translates into is these sweeps are going to be going about an inch and a half into the soil. And that's about where we want them to be. You know, maybe if you're dealing with some larger weeds, you might want them to go in a little bit deeper or you're wanting to throw more soil. You can speed up the speed of the tractor or make them go in deeper and that might cover up weeds. If we need to make adjustments in the field, obviously we can loosen these uh, bolts here and either drop the sweeps deeper into the ground or raise them up to make them shallower. Or if we want all three of these sweeps on this unit to go in at the same rate together with the level of deepness. All we have to do is turn this crank and by making the wheel impact the ground sooner, it will make the sweeps go shallower or retracting the wheel will make the sweeps go in deeper and they'll all maintain that same level of depth or shallowness. Um, the nice thing about European tools and uh, using the same brand is that all of the tools are interchangeable. So the shanks on this L blade that I have here are the same size as the shanks on these A blades. And in about five minutes, I can swap, you know, the, the sweeps that are going next to the row out with an L blade to change my method of attack to the weeds if I'm going from crop to crop of different heights and maturity. Now notice we don't have just one big sweep going in between, you know, our 15 inch rows here. We have three sweeps. So this sweep is going to take care of the bulk of the work and the row sweep over here is smaller and it's going to provide another level of soil disturbance. So if by chance there was a weed that escaped getting cut or severed or whatever by this first sweep, it will be impacted later by this um, secondary sweep, which is smaller. So the more stirring and soil agitation that is happening, the more effective your cultivator is going to be at completely eradicating the weeds. And then following that, we have the finger weeders set up here I like to set these up on a separate uh, system. This is called the spring-loaded arm. So the spring-loaded arm is constantly providing the same amount of down pressure on the ground, and it's set up independently of the sweeps up here. So I can set these more aggressive or less aggressive and not have to have the way I've set up the sweeps be impacted by one or the other. And then there's also other elements of aggressiveness to set finger weeders up. One, by the depth at which it's coming down, but two, to the offsetness of where the fingers are impacting the row. If you look here, they are offset as opposed to being right across from each other. So this would be considered a little bit more of a delicate uh, way to attack the crop or the weeds whereas I can just loosen one bolt and slide this finger up. So it's working at the same uh, spot in the row. And that's going to be probably the most aggressive that we will set the fingers at 
Plus we can also adjust how far apart the fingers are from each other in the row. And other fine adjustments can be done by adjusting the tension on the springs. So oftentimes there's a fine balance between effective weed control and cultivation and uh, soil health. A lot of times we're growing cover crops far ahead or not so far ahead of when we're planting the crops that we're you know, going to be cultivating and harvesting. And while the cover crops are very important for soil health, sometimes it, they do pose problems with uh, cultivating and um, growing the crop itself. So um, we need to consider as far out in advance adequate planning. So when you do terminate a cover crop, it is far enough decomposed that it's not going to affect the ability of these tools to work. But the other thing that working the soil shallowly does and only working the same inch and a half to two inches of soil uh, in each cultivation pass is that you're not, you're, you're disturbing a minimal amount of soil. So you're not going to be impacting the microbiological life that is occurring further down below um, that range of depth and most of the organic matter in that two inch to inch and a half top part of soil is going to be more decomposed because that is what's being worked on a regular basis while maintaining the good uh, organic matter that is further down from that two inch range and deeper.